Hello and welcome to another video of Prof. Paul B. Today we'll be looking at implementing inheritance in Java. If we take a look at the diagram on the right, we see um, we have three classes in that UML diagram. We have animal class that has uh, two public methods that both return string, has a play method and a make sound method. And we also have two classes uh, beneath that. Uh, a dog class that has a private uh, string attribute called name, a constructor that accepts the name, and we notice has the same play method as in the animal. And we're going to see that really what we're doing there is we're overriding that method from the animal class. And we also see a cat class that has a name attribute, a constructor passing in that name attribute, and this one actually overrides the make sound method. And uh, you'll notice that these classes, actually there's this, in the diagram there's this arrow with an open triangle pointing towards the animal class. And that means that both dog and cat extend animal. So animal is a super class and dog and cat are both subclasses. So let's go ahead and implement this in Java. Uh, I already started my NetBeans um, project. I called it inheritance example. So what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to create the animal class. So let me go ahead and I'm going to right click on the Java package, new Java class. And I'm going to call this animal. And I'm going to click on finish. So here I have my class animal. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create these two methods. So the first method is public and it's returning a string. We know it's public because in the UML diagram we have a plus sign here. So public string play and we also have public string make sound. Okay, so let's go ahead and write that. And we're getting some errors because we're saying that we're returning strings, but we're not returning anything. Let's take a look at the, on the left of the diagram, we have some, a little bit of information here. And one thing I didn't mention, but uh, it's worth noticing is, all animal has two of these public methods. Uh, however, dog overrides one of them, and only one of them overrides the play method. Whereas cat overrides the other uh, method, the make sound method. And we see that um, for the methods that don't, uh, are, that are not overridden, we see that actually we get the default play from animal and default sound from animal. So that's actually what I'm going to uh, write in here, or actually what I'm going to return. So let me just go ahead and, and do that. Return default play from animal. Oops, if I can type properly. And we will do something very similar here. And we'll return default make sound from animal. Make sound from animal. OK. So, and that's it. We have our animal class is all set up and ready to go. Um, now, what I want to do is I'm actually going to inherit, actually I'm going to create the dog class, and the dog class is going to extend the animal class. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to right click here. I'm going to do new uh, Java class, and this class is going to be uh, my dog class. And I'm going to click on finish. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to extend and here's where I'm creating the um, inheritance relationship that I'm saying that the, the class dog extends animal so uh, let me go and I'm going to create my uh, private name attribute private string name I'm going to right click insert code and I'm actually going to insert the constructor so I'm going to use the IDE to help me out whenever I can so here we have the constructor that has the name attribute uh, parameter coming in and we're setting the attribute. That's why we need the this dot name and we're setting it to be the name parameter being come in. Okay. And now I'm actually going to uh, 
I'm actually going to create a method called play, public string play. And this method has the same signature as the play method within our superclass. And what I'm going to do here is I'm, ac I'm actually going to check to see what the dog returns here. Dog play, uh, Lucky is playing with a ball. Okay, so I got, so Lucky is actually the name of the dog. So let's go ahead and, um, so we'll do this very simply. We'll just do return um, name plus is playing with the ball, okay? So now we're going to pass in the name, that'll be the name of the dog that we pass in through the constructor and we're just adding is playing with the ball. So let's go ahead and save that. And let me go back to my Java package. I'm gonna right click on it, a uh, new Java class. This time I'm going to create the cat and I'm gonna click on finish. And again, the cat class, it also has a private string name. And again, I'm going to simply right click and insert code. I'm gonna insert a constructor, passing in the name. And I'm also going to create the make sound method. So again, using the same signature. So I, I, I will be overriding the make sound method. Public uh, return value of string, make sound. And now what I'm going to return, let's see what does the cat, the cat goes, um, where is the cat? Meow, of course. So let's go ahead and return. Oh, actually, I, I didn't do it in the example, but let's go ahead and do something similar to the dog. Uh, name plus uh, says meow. Okay. And of course, we're going to put our semicolon there to make sure that's a valid Java, Java statement. So now we have, actually, we have our, our um, we have our object model here. We just created uh, our animal class with the play, with the two methods, play and make sound. And we also created a dog class that has a name, the constructor uh, for the, the, that we see here, passing in the name as a string argument. And we also have the play method. There's one thing here, if you'll notice, the IDE is actually telling us, oh, there's a, a suggestion here to add the at override annotation. And you should, whenever you're overriding a method, you should always, always, always add the at override annotation. And we're going to, it should be adding it here. Public string makes sound. What is different here? Let me take a look. Public string make the ah. What is missing? Something is missing. So here is actually nice because we we this the IDE is not uh, suggesting to do add the at override because we forgot to actually extend. We forgot to extend the animal class. Okay, and now we see the IDE saying yes. We should put that as at the at override annotation. Okay, so now we we have our cat class extending animal. We have our dog class extending animal. And we have an animal class. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to create a few instances of these. And um, we're going to call the um, cat play and dog play. We're going to actually call these methods to see how, the, how that works out. So let's go ahead and I'm going to create a, a new dog. I'm just going to call it dog equals new dog. And I'm going to call this dog lucky. And uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to do cat, cat equals new cat. And I'll call the cat Fluffy. And now what we're going to do is I'm just going to do a few system.out.print lines. And let me just see, um, okay, cat play. And okay. so let's go ahead and do cat play plus cat dot play. And I'm going to do SOT cat make sound. 
And now I'm going to do cat dot make sound. And I forgot the plus sign to concatenate those two strings. And I'm also going to do the same for dog. I'll just do a, a quick print a quick print line just to do a put a blank line there. And I'll do the th same for dog. Dog play. Uh, plus dog dot play. And finally, we'll do the system dot, dot out dot print line. And we'll do dog make some. Okay. And let me just add the colon spaces and dog dot make sound. Okay, good. So let's give this a shot. This seems okay. And if I run it and we see in our output, let me just mix, make this a little bit bigger. Cat play, cat play. We see that default play from Anumo. Let me go check. Let me go fix that typo. <laughs> and there we go. And let's run that again. And so now we see cat play, default play from animal, and cat make sound, fluffy says meow. And dog play, lucky is playing with the ball, and dog make sound, default make sound from animal. So we see what's happening here is that even though cat does not have a play method defined, and because cat extends from animal, the play method is invoked off of the animal or the super class. Um, and, but however, make cat actually overrides the make sound method from the and we see it here cat overrides the make sound method from the uh, animal class so what's invoked is at runtime is the implementation from cat okay and conversely for the dog dog has is overriding play so we see that this is coming from the dog class and the make sound is coming from the animal class so that's um, one more thing I do want to show you though and this is where this is a huge benefit of uh, inheritance is polymorphism and what we can do is I'm going to actually create a, a method here public static um, void and I'm going to call this invoke uh, play I'm going to call this invoke play and here what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a slight uh, a sleight of hand here I'm actually going to accept an animal so I'm going to accept an animal an instance of animal and what I'm going to do is I'm going to invoke play in here I, I have to put this as one word so I'm, I am going to uh, implement the invoke play I'm not sure what is going on in my outside oh <laughs> I'm trying to create a method within my main method which is really not a good thing okay and then you let me go ahead here and make sure I reformat that right away so uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this method and I'm going to pass in either a cat or a dog and the um, the compiler will know actually will um, will know that we can implement we can actually do this animal dot plane And actually, I do want to display this. So let me go ahead and do something like this. Let me do SOUT system.out.println. And I'm going to say um, animal play. And I'm going to do a space. And let's go ahead and concatenate this. And see, now what I'm going to do is now I'm actually going to invoke this method. And I'm actually going to pass in both the cat and the dog. So now I'm actually going just to do a very quick um, calling the invoke play. And now I'm going to invoke play and I'm going to first send in invoke play. First I'm going to send in the cat. And then I'm going to, I did something wrong, it's a capital L. And now I'm going to 
actually invoke play from the dock. And I did the capital L again. That's of course a habit. And I'm going to do the dog. And let's go ahead and let's go ahead and run this. Then we'll talk a little bit about what's happening. So we see the, uh, so this is what we had before, but now the new part is right here. We're calling the invoke play. So we see our animal play, animal play, default play from animal, which is what we expect because the first one we're passing in is cat and cat does not implement the make play, or sorry, the, the play method. But we see the animal play, we see lucky is playing with the ball. So even though here, the type that's being passed in to the uh, to the method is a, a animal is the super type uh, when at runtime the play method is actually invoked off of the actual type and here the actual type of the second one is dog and we because we see here when we declared it we declared dog as uh, a new dog so here here's the declared type here's the actual type but what's happening is when we're calling the method, the reference dog is being passed in to the and and to this variable of type animal. So at compile time, uh, the compiler knows that that this will compile this will compile because the compiler can looks at animal. Is there a play method in animal? Yes, there is. So that then the compiler is happy. However, at runtime. The, um, the the JVM will search the hierarchy tree and for cat for example it will not find a play method for for the actual type which is cat so that that means it will actually call the play method from animal and that's what we see right here the default play from animal however when line 29 occurs and we're passing in an instance of dog and that's the actual type um, in in the method the JVM is going to look well yeah this is an animal that's the declared type because that's how it's declared right here in the parameter but uh, the JVM will know that, hey, wait a minute, this is actually a dog. Let me check to see if the dog has a play method. If it does, it's going to invoke that. And in this particular case, we see that's exactly what happens. So that's about all I want to do in this video. I want to talk a, a little bit more about this scenario. And uh, what we'll look at next time is we'll look at uh, creating our animal class and making it uh, abstract. And we'll be talking a little bit more about abstract classes and abstract methods, but that's coming up in another video. So uh, again, thanks for watching and uh, please comment, rate, subscribe, and have a great day.